What's going on everybody? How you doing? In today's video we are doing a donation request. This is for James. James wanted me to check out Gavin Harrison playing at what looks like at a clinic, a drum clinic, the song Futile by Porcupine Tree. This is not a song that I've heard before. I'm really digging what I've heard thus far from Porcupine Tree and from Stephen Wilson. So I'm psyched to check this out. If you're new here, please subscribe, check out my videos, all kinds of videos, reaction videos, bass videos, music videos, check it out. If you like the channel, you want to support the channel, you can hit super thanks underneath this video. You can hit me direct in the description. I got PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, Amazon Wishlist, mailing address, and I do donation request videos just like this one. So if there's something you want me to listen to, watch, talk about, question, whatever, hit me direct, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, and in the notes section, leave a description, leave a link, let me know what you want the video to be on, and I'll make the video. You can also email me at jpanreadsemail at gmail.com. That's in the description also thank you guys cool all right let's uh let's get to this bam How he just like got airy more, like it's less kick heavy, it's more uh, like it just felt like air got sucked out. Some more space, all of it.
Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, I mean, obviously I'm not a drummer, so I can't talk about the drummy things that are happening here and all of the, all that kind of thing, because I have no idea. I don't know my flam taps, my ramadils. I know, I know none of those things, okay? I just like it. <laughs> I think it's cool. The song, I don't know that I was crazy about the song. That being said, I kind of heard it from the drummer perspective as opposed to like really hearing like the literal mix, you know what I mean? Like, like I'm hearing it kind of secondhand almost like the track of the song the actual song is like background to the drums right which i mean is a cool perspective but this is my first time also hearing the song what i heard i i was like you know there are some cool parts of whatever that instrument was it was a little bit hard for me to tell exactly what it was if it was like some kind of keyboard patch sound kind of thing or or what that was cool but this is obviously more geared towards all right, we're doing a drum clinic. This has like a drum solo section in it. So, and it has like interesting rhythm kind of things. So I can just perform this and it'll be cool, you know, for drummers, which, you know, yeah, it was, it was cool. Yeah, I liked when the verse kind of dropped in and all of a sudden he got way more sparse and it kind of felt like things weren't anchored as much. It felt like things lifted because he like played the kick a lot less he was more on the hi-hat, was was more just holding that up. So that like brought timbre wise, it brought it from like the low end of the spec of the EQ spectrum up to the high, right? So it like it felt that way. Like all the air got sucked out. Everything that was just like let like all here all of a sudden just went here. Right? There was a little bit happening here and then all the hi-hat kind of stuff and all the also the, the snare. A little bit, but mostly hi-hat. Anyways, that was pretty cool. Just the effect of that, g giving more room for the vocals to come in, right? It was cool. Yeah, I like drummers. <laughs> it was a cool song. It was fine. It was fine. I don't know. I wasn't as crazy about the song as other previous Porcupine Tree Stephen Wilson songs, but you know, whatever. I mean, they've got like a massive catalog, right? Especially between the two of them. All right, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.